so hello everyone uh, today we see some problems uh, uh, based on solubility product so actually these are the problems uh, uh, the based on a uh, solubility product and mainly uh, having a, a thing that uh, the, their precipitation forms are not in a particular given reaction okay see the first one so equal volumes of it is equal volumes of uh, 0.02 m calcium chloride and 0.0004 m sodium sulfate are mixed so is there any precipitate will form or not you have to find that so the clue is given the uh, ksp of calcium sulfate is 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so here in this type of problems you have to observe uh, what is the reaction and which is going to precipitate so on the mixing of calcium chloride and sodium sulfate so what is the formation there is a formation of uh, CaSO4 and there is a formation of 2 NaCl so NaCl and there is a formation of calcium sulfate so we have to find uh, is there any, any precipitation will form or not clue in the KSP of calcium sulfate and the actual question is CaSO4 precipitate out there or not is there any precipitation of CaSO4 is formed or not that is the thing so already we know the relation so first I want to give some information to do these problems so the KSP so for the precipitation we have the rule that if ionic product Okay, if ionic product uh, of the salt, so already we know in the application that if ionic product of that salt, so the ionic product uh, then the compared is the same which is going to precipitate. So the the precipitate salt at the precipitate or the so the ionic product in the mixed solution and it's a solubility product. So solubility product and it is a constant at a particular temperature. The solubility product uh, so direct the problem like which manaki, or they give any other clues to calculate the solubility product. Nothing but solubility is a solubility product find out. So, you can the problem so direct the solubility product. It is so you can solubility product. It should is is this uh, this salt will precipitates or not? We have to find that. So, we know that. Uh, uh, the condition for the formation of precipitation or if ionic product if ionic product is greater than its solubility product uh, precipitation precipitation will occur so next uh, uh, if you take uh, another option if ionic product is uh, less than ksp if ionic product is less than ksp so there is uh, no formation of precipitation okay uh, these two are the condition for the precipitation uh, if a ksp is equal to ionic product it is called saturated solution at that time also there is no precipitation will form means to have for the precipitation problems you have to consider these two conditions if ionic product of uh, that salt in the solution, the ionic product of the salt in the solution is greater than its KSP, so there is a formation of precipitation takes place. If ionic product of ionic product of that salt in the solution is less than its solubility product, solubility product is a uh, uh, constant at a particular temperature, it will be mentioned in the problem. Then there is no PP. Mean to have to find the ionic product. So ionic product uh, mixed solution low. Ionic product of CaSO4 find out just KSP to compare that. Very simple. Okay. Uh, see uh, here. What are the first as it is given equal volumes. So then what is the concentration of so so in the mixture solution so 
so after mixing uh, it becomes what is the value it's a double becomes it becomes uh, equal values we can say v plus v or 2v combining value means 2v so what is the ca plus 2 concentration what is the ca plus 2 concentration we are calculating the ionic product ionic product means nothing but uh, the product of a uh, concentration the product of the concentrations of that particular ions so here ca plus 2 concentration actually it is a 0.02 next what is the total volume so in single volume it is having 0.02 but uh, the equal volumes are mixed equal values are mixed means uh, the value will be double the value will be double means the concentration will be halved so that is a uh, by 2 it becomes um, to 10 to the power of sorry become 0 0.01 that is 10 to the power minus 2 so next uh, what is the concentration of SO4 minus 2 what is the concentration of SO4 minus 2 in the mixture so that is 0 0.0004 in the mixed solution means volume is halved so it is by 2 so here important one so the ca so 4 okay one ca plus 2 s so 4 minus 2 so there is a only one one unit is there so it becomes so it becomes 0 0.002 nothing but it is 2 into 10 to the power of a minus 4 so now what is ionic product so calculate uh, ionic product ionic product of CaSO4 equal to the concentration of Ca plus 2 concentration of Ca plus 2 and concentration of SO4 minus 2 so Ca plus 2 how much that is 10 power minus 2 and what is the concentration of SO4 minus 2 in the solution 2 into 10 power minus uh, 4 so totally it becomes a so ionic product equal to becomes two into ten to the power of minus six. So if you compare the KSP, what is the KSP value is given? So, so given that KSP is equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So now apply the conditions. I'll let you know the conditions here. KSP ionic product. So therefore we can say ionic product. Ionic product is it 10 power minus 6, it is 10 power minus 5. So ionic product is less than KSP. So when it is less than KSP, so there is a no PPT will formed. No PPT will be formed. Okay. Uh, now we see one more problem of the same type. Next, uh, we take one more problem of this type. Write the problem. So, you are given ten power minus five m NeCl. And 10 to the power of minus 8m silver nitrate solution so here they are mixed They are mixed in a 1 is to 1 volume ratio. Means simply we can say equal volumes are mixed just like the previous problem. So predict uh, 
where the silver chloride will be precipitated. Silver chloride will be precipitated or not. We have to find is there any formation of precipitation or not. So it is given that uh, the KSP, the solubility of uh, silver chloride is uh, so 1 into 10 to the power of minus 10. Okay. So again the same problem, uh, we have to follow the conditions. Mm. Ionic product, uh, if less than solubility product, there is no precipitation will form. If ionic product is greater than solubility product, there is a precipitation formation takes place. Means we have to find the, again, uh, we have to find uh, ionic product. So ionic product uh, in the mixed solution, in the mixed solution, here also exactly the, just like previous problem, they are mixed in 1 is to 1 volume ratio. 1 is to 1 volume ratio means uh, equal volumes, okay. Equal volumes of uh, solutions are mixed. So if equal volumes of uh, solutions are mixed, so... So in a mixed solution, so what will be the concentration of actually there is a mixing of NaCl and AgNO3. So we know that there is a formation of sodium nitrate and silver chloride. We have to find about the precipitation of AgCl takes place or not. Means we must calculate the uh, solubility product of uh, Ag plus and Cl minus. So that's why we have to uh, calculate uh, the concentration of Ag plus. Individual concentration of Ag plus is uh, 10 to the power of minus 8. But in the mixing of the solution, in the mixing solution, its concentration will be half. So that is uh, 10 power minus 5 so by 2. Okay, let's make it as a 0 0.5 into minus 5. So why are making half means uh, equal values. So equal value mixes but the concentration will be exactly half. So you can use a 10 to the 5 into 10 power minus 6. Next, uh, if you see the concentration of Cl minus in the mixture, exactly in the mixture, the concentration of Cl minus, sorry, Ag plus, already we calculated Ag plus, sorry, so Ag plus is 10 power minus 8, okay. So this becomes 10 power minus 9. Now calculate the concentration of Cl minus, actually the concentration in the individual solution, its concentration is 10 power minus 5. So, automatically the mixing the solution equal volumes will become 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 5. So, it can be written for minus 6. So, now we have to uh, compare. We have to compare the equilibrium. We have to compare the solubility product and KSP, ionic, ionic product. So therefore ionic product, so ionic product of silver chloride in the mixed solution is, that's important, okay. In the mixed solution ionic product is uh, so Ag plus what is the Cl minus? To turn to power of uh, minus 6. So it becomes a uh, 2.5 uh, 25 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 15. So what is the KSP? We have to um, compare the KSP value and we calculated a value so given KSP is given KSP of uh, silver chloride is how much it's simply 10 power minus 10 so but here it is a uh, less 10 power minus 15 so here ionic product
ionic product is uh, less than tempo minus 15 this is tempo minus 10 just don't uh, neglect this 25 this 1 into we have to concentrate on the 10 powers tempo minus 15 tempo minus 10 this is very less very less one compared to the ksp so therefore there is no perspiration takes place no perspiration will takes place okay next uh, take uh, one more important problem see one more problem at 20 So, well, precipitation occur. So, it is given very, very less value that is Ks P is equal 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. So, actually here, there is a Ks P simply is given, uh, but the Ks P of a which salt it is not given. We have to identify it so uh, what is the reaction so here the mixing of a uh, silver nitrate with the uh, sodium sulfide so the, there is a formation of sodium nitrate and silver sulfide silver sulfide takes place and there is a formation of a uh, sodium nitrate so the sulfides are generally precipitated it means uh, so the precipitation the reaction In the reaction, precipitation, possible precipitation. So exactly we know if the precipitation will form or not. But in the reaction, what is the possible precipitation? So, in the reaction, the, what is the possible precipitation is a silver sulfide, okay, silver sulfide. So, here, uh, if you see, if you see the ionic product, the silver sulfide means you have to compare the silver product, silver sulfide uh, ionic product and say, this is nothing but given silver sulfide uh, solubility product. Okay, see how there is a formation of a silver sulfide means uh, so we know the reaction so the actually Ag plus this is uh, Na so Na2 is there is a formation of uh, S minus 2 but uh, the silver sulfide formula this is the silver sulfide formula is uh, Ag2S so we have to balance it okay now so what is the ionic product? So the concentration of Ag plus in mixed solution. In the mixed solution is how much? So its concentration here, uh, the particular volume is given. In the last two problems, there is no particular volume is given. But here a particular volume is given. So that's why. 
So the what is the AZ plus concentration in the mixed solution is a that is a 1.3 into 10 power minus 3. Its concentration is how much? 1.3 minus 3. So what is its value? Its value is 200 by total value. In the last previous problem, there is no value is mentioned. If you take the volume V, the total value becomes 2V. V V get cancelled. That's why we did not mention it here. So 1.3 minus 3 into value by total value. Okay. This is 200. This 100 total becomes 300. Okay. So here on the calculation, we will get... Uh, Next, what is the concentration of a sulfide? What is the concentration of a sulfide in the mixed solution? The sulfide concentration means what is the sulfide? This 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into its value 100. That's what is the total value. So it is just like uh, M1 V1 equal to M2 V2. We are following the formula M1 V1 equal to M2 V2. Initial concentration, initial value is equal to final concentration, final value. Okay. So, by total value, so 300. So, again, on this calculation, we will get uh, uh, minus 5. So, we have to compare calculate the ionic product at first. So the ionic product. So ionic product is how much? So Ig plus square and S minus 2 because the two moles of Ag is uh, present in the Ag2S so this is 8.7 into 10 power minus 4 square what is S minus 2 it is exactly 1.5 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 5 so here approximately we will get uh, this is 8.7 1.5 so this is minus 8 so minus 8 minus will become 13 8 minus 13 so no need to the total calculation because just to have to compare that uh, Two values so we will get some value before the 10 power but here we are having a, a large value when compared to the solubility product the solubility so given ksp given solubility product is just 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 49 so ionic product is 10 power minus 13 so no need to calculate it that we have to compare it so therefore so the ionic product, this is 10 power minus 13 minus 49, this is very very less, means ionic product is higher, ionic product is greater than KSP. So therefore, there is a formation of takes place, there is a formation of Ag2S. Precipitation takes place in the reaction. Okay. Okay, see. Uh, one more problem. So, when 15 milliliter of 0 0.05 m, 0 0.05 m, silver nitrate is mixed with. Uh, The 45 milliliter of 
zero point zero three m potassium sorry potassium chromate not dichromates potassium chromate so predict weather precipitation predict weather precipitation of here exactly given so precipitation of a silver chromate ag 2 cro 4 the formula is given so it's occur or not the ksp of ag 2 cro 4 given so 1.9 to 10 power minus 12 so already we know the precipitation problem means we have to compare the solubility product and also ionic product in the mixed solution so here 15 milliliter solution 45 milliliter solutions of uh, silver nitrate potassium chromate so on this uh, what is the what you expect the products the products are potassium nitrate and uh, silver chromate potassium nitrate and silver chromate we have to identify the uh, is there formation of ag 2 crvo 4 potassium chromate precipitation will take place or not it can be done by calculating the ionic product of uh, this uh, salt ionic product of the salts ions in the mixed solution so for that uh, so the concentration of ag plus the concentration of ag plus in the mixed solution uh, is how much uh, 0 0.05 uh, means 0 0.05 ag and both three so ag and both three concentration 0 0.05 and i got ag plus concentration 0 0.05 and both three minus concentration also 0 0.05 okay so 0 0.05 to m1 v1 and m2 v2 i have to find the m2 final concentration in which total value the so 45 plus 15 okay Okay. So on this calculation, here we get uh, in the same way we have to find the concentration of CrO4 minus 2. The concentration of CrO4 minus 2 in the mixture solution is how much? What is the K2CrO4 minus 2 means? Uh, CrO4 minus 2 concentration 0 0.03. But here important uh, if you want to get the concentration of potassium. So potassium is nothing but 2 moles in the gravity. The potassium ion concentration 2 into 0 0.03. But here we need only chromate, chromium, chromate one mole on the gravity, so just 0 0.03 into uh, its uh, value in the total value. What is the total value? That is 60. So that go minus 2, it will become approximately 2.25 into 10 power minus 2. Next, so we we'll have to find ionic product. How to calculate the ionic product of Ag2CrO4? So we must know it's. Uh, Ionic form the splitting it forms uh, 2 Ag plus plus CrO4 minus 2. It is only one ion. Here are 2 Ag plus ions are there. So what is the solubility? What is ionic product? The ionic product uh, can be written as Ag plus square as it present in the two moles and CrO4 minus 2. Okay, what are the values? Ag plus how much? So this was about Ag plus. That is 1.25 to 10 power 
minus 2 whole square C R over 4 minus that is 2.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 so here so 1.25 is it to the power minus 4 minus 2 so on this overall calculation we will get uh, so actually no need to calculate but already it is given so 10 to the power minus 6 so we have to compare this value this adding product with the solubility product so what is the solubility product value given so this is ionic product so compare it with the solubility product so given ksp given ksp of a silver chromate silver chromate is a, we know that there is a 1.9 into 10 power minus 12 is given so compare this, this is just 10 power minus 6 is 10 power minus 12 so ionic product so here ionic product is greater than ksp ionic product is greater than ksp means simply we can say there is a precipitation ppt will be occurred silver chromate ppt will take place okay so actually this type of problems are very very important so try to practice them and also i will give some more questions in the worksheet okay